Bitcoin is shattering records and revolutionizing the world, and Ethereum has literally redefined how blockchain technology can be used. But looking past these biggest coins, however, is where we find ourselves a gold rush of newer coins that is untapped. The altcoins of the crypto world, which basically include any and all coins besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, are so important and cannot be ignored because they represent the future potential of cryptocurrencies. So in this video, we are going over my top 5 altcoins to buy right now for the end of 2021. There are over 7,000 crypto coins out there, but I've done the research and this is my list of the best coins to look into. We'll go over the numbers and current news so that you can make an informed decision. And I'll also be showing you how to buy and trade these coins properly in my Pionix account. Let's get started. So the first coin we're talking about today is Avalanche. Avalanche is a proof of stake crypto project that enables you to build your own decentralized applications and blockchains. The platform relies on the AVAX token as a means for consensus and for paying network fees. So right now Avalanche is trading at $120.70 with a 24 hour low of $113 and a 24 hour high of $122.91. So here's the one month chart. You can see that just about one month ago we were trading about $70 dollars uh, per coin it shot up pretty dramatically in the last month two months all the way to around 140 dollars uh, per coin and since then it's sort of leveled off a little bit if we zoom out to one year ago you can see that back in uh, february of 2021 we saw a big spike in avalanche's price followed by a steady decline all the way back down to around $10. And since then, it's just really, really shot up in price. But yeah, back in 2020, you guys, literally a few dollars per coin. So in the last 24 hours, the trading volume is about $2 billion. We have a market dominance of 1.04%, and it's ranked number 11 uh, in market cap with a market cap of 26 0.988 billion dollars. So like I briefly mentioned earlier, Avalanche is a blockchain based smart contracts platform that is considered to be the fastest in the industry. Considering both its transactional throughput of 4,500 transactions per second and its transactional finality of less than two seconds, which is considerably faster than the biggest cryptos in the market. And for anyone that's wondering, transactional finality is the amount of time that it takes before a crypto can guarantee that your crypto transactions can't be altered. So Avalanche can guarantee that your transactions stay put within two seconds of you calling it in, which is absolutely insane. So far, the hottest news in the Avalanche community is the fact that Avalanche recently overtook Dogecoin to achieve the 10th spot in the biggest cryptos by market cap. Avalanche raised over $230 million in September from investors and actually created their own $220 million fund called Blizzard to support projects on their platform. Now, the primary reason why Avalanche's value skyrocketed in the past month is because of the recent announcement that financial giant Deloitte would team up with Avalanche to use its blockchain technology to construct disaster relief platforms. This update is huge for Avalanche as a validation of the project's competitive advantage as the fastest and most reliable smart contracts platform. Considering the insane growth that Avalanche has experienced in its lifetime from just a few dollars in 2020 to well over $100 today, as well as all the use cases and advantages, I'd say that it's definitely a coin that should be on your watch list and one that I will be buying more of. So we are talking about some of my favorite altcoins but how do I actually hold them? That's where Pinex comes in, a seriously cool crypto exchange with built-in free trading bots that can help you be more profitable in your trades. So yeah, right now I'm gonna show you guys the process with how this platform works. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to deposit fiat into an exchange like Coinbase, and then you'll convert that to something like USDT and send that over to your Pinex wallet. So I'm here in my Pinex dashboard, and the first thing you're gonna do is click on trade right here. This is gonna take me to this screen. And yeah, over here you can see these are the trading bots that are included in this platform. They have the grid trading bots, which basically auto buys low and sells high. There's the rebalancing bot, which is actually the one that I'm going to be using in this video. And yeah, if you scroll down here, there are tons of other bots that you can use, and they all come with these little descriptions that uh, show you when and how to use them. There's even dollar cost averaging if you want to stay in these coins long term. And yeah, if you want to create your own manual bot, you can actually do that as well. But yeah, coming back here to the trading bots, I'm actually gonna create a rebalancing bot for this video. Since I want to invest in more than two coins, I'm going to use the multi-coins mode. And here I can actually choose from an index that's already pre-created. And if you scroll through here, you can see that these are some of the ones that are currently available on the platform. And the one that I'm gonna be using today is the public chain all-star index. So I'm gonna click choose. And here you can see that these are the coins that I'm talking about in this video. And you can see that each of these coins is allocated 20% for this index. If you do want to customize, you can come here to customize, uh, and this is where you can 
add new coins and then change the ratios for your index. And I'm actually going to put about $10,000 uh, into this spot right now. So I'm gonna drag all the way to 100%. So after doing that, I'm going to click create. It's going to bring up this confirmation page. So yes, I'm going to invest. So I'll click OK. And bam, it's been created successfully. You guys can do this on their desktop platform like I just did, but they also have a really great app that you can use as well. Now, if you guys want to invest in these coins, you can use my link in the description to sign up for Pinex. And the great thing is that you can also create your own index or trade with any of the 250 or more different coins available on the platform. I really like their platform because it's easy to use. There's only a super low 0.05% trading fee. And most importantly, it works extremely extremely well. So yeah, the link will be below to start trading these altcoins with Pinex. And now back to the video. All right, the second coin we're talking about is Polkadot. And Polkadot is an open source blockchain based platform that relies on the DOT token so that users can govern the protocol, behave appropriately on the network through staking, and also so that new blockchains called paired chains can be added to the platform. All right, so right now one DOT coin is trading at just about $39 with a 24 hour low of $38.08 and a 24 our high of $40.23. Here's the price chart for the last three months. We can see that just about three months ago, we were at around $26, $25 uh, per coin. We saw a pretty big jump in price starting in September, October of this year, uh, reaching a high of about $53, uh, $54 uh, per coin. And, and yeah, ever since then, it's a decrease in price, which could present a pretty good buying opportunity. So if you zoom out to the one year chart, you can see that one year ago, we were trading around five dollars a coin uh, really shot up starting in let's say january of this year uh, leveling out back uh, in the middle of the year and since around july the price has increased from around ten dollars to where it is right now uh, total trading volume in the last 24 hours is about 1.2 billion dollars so up about five percent uh, we have a market dominance of 1.48% and a market rank of number eight based on market cap. The current market cap is about $38.5 billion, which is down about 2%. So we actually have some ratings for Polkadot and you can see that the uh, symmetry score is a B grade and the token insight rating is currently a BBB. Polkadot is particularly special because its platform offers interoperability and cross blockchain transfers between different blockchains. The project accomplishes this by implementing paired chains that allow transactions to be executed in parallel instead of sequentially. So yeah, in simpler terms, Polkadot has a bunch of smaller versions of blockchains running in parallel, hence the name paired chains. Like its name implies, Polkadot is about unifying an army of blockchains, which look like dots from afar into a single secure and scalable network. The project is also 100% open source, meaning that the code behind the network is completely open and public for anyone to read and contribute to. And yeah, basically that's going to help guarantee transparency between the network and its users. Polkadot also has a network called Kusama that allows users to test run their platforms with minimal stakes invested into this process to ensure that users don't fool around during the experimentation process. Recently, Polkadot held its first parachain auctions with Akala winning the first auction with over 32 million DOT token stake, equivalent to $1.28 billion. This is a massive advancement for the Polkadot platform as its mission can finally move forward with the further development and staking of other pair chains to showcase the project's interoperability promises. Being that Polkadot is already one of the largest cryptos in the world before it can even exhibit its capabilities, it's definitely one that you should consider for your portfolio. All right, third on the list is Stellar. And Stellar is an an open source decentralized platform launched in 2014 that relies on its token known as the Lumen going by the symbol XLM. All right, so one Stellar coin XLM is trading at about 33 cents right now with a 24 hour low of about 32 cents and a 24 hour high of about 34 cents. This coin has been pretty much moving sideways for the last few months. We can see that three months ago, we were just about, you know, same price, 33, 35 cents per coin. It went up dip back down, went back up, and that was dipped back down to where it is right now. If we zoom out to the last year, we can see that uh, XLM actually hit a high of about 73 cents back in May of this year. And ever since then, it really did decrease in price all the way to about 20 cents per coin. Uh, and since then, it has sort of gone up. So the price change in the last 24 hours is about 1.37% 
down. We have a market dominance of 0.31% and a market rank of 26. The current market cap is going to be uh, just over $8 billion. The current symmetry rating is C plus and the token insight rating is a BB. Stellar is a project that basically unifies different currencies from around the globe into one single digital platform. That way people can transfer money and execute transactions across borders with fast speeds and for low fees. So one huge benefit of using Stellar is that you can send money abroad at ridiculous speed and for a low cost. Whereas before fees would get quite hefty and it would take days for transactions to settle. Now you might be wondering, this sounds an awful lot like Ripple. So what really sets Stellar apart from Ripple? The biggest difference between the two is the market that they target. While Stellar wants to accommodate individuals, Ripple is more focused on partnering with banks. However, it seems like Stellar is becoming the newly preferred currencies platform for its decentralized platform and its nonprofit label. Not to mention the SEC lawsuit that Ripple has been facing recently. In fact, about two months ago, digital payments company MoneyGram announced its partnership with the Stellar Development Foundation to use blockchain technology so that USD cash can be quickly converted into digital tokens, allowing for much faster, more streamlined, and more secure transactions to take place within the MoneyGram network. And when I mention low fees, I want to emphasize just how low these fees really can be. As of right now, Stellar's network charges 0.00001 XLM, which is well under one cent, which means it's virtually free. Compare this to when you're using a credit card overseas. Typically, transaction fees will equate to somewhere between one to 3% of the amount of money you spend. So yeah, that's like when you spend $1,000 on vacation, you're basically paying $30 in fees. Especially considering how connected we are to other countries and how globalized we've become, I think Stellar is addressing a very appropriate and timely issue and has showcased nothing but competitive advantages in its niche. I'll definitely be watching this coin for the rest of the year and adding more to my portfolio. All right, next up on our list is Solana. And Solana is a public blockchain platform that relies on its native SOL token for payment transactions on the Solana network. So right now, when a uh, Solana coin is trading at $208.38. This is down about 4% in the last 24 hours. If you take a look at the uh, three month price chart, we can see that three months ago, we were seeing at about $80 per coin, really jumped up to around $210 a coin, slowly went back down. And since then it has gradually gone up. But in the last month, you can see that the price has sort of moved sideways, but also gone down a bit. The market dominance is 2.43% with a market rank of five. And the total market cap right now is about $63.3 billion. Symmetry is rating it a grade B and the token insight rating is BBB. Solana considers itself the fastest blockchain in the world, able to handle 50,000 transactions per second, which dwarfs the transaction throughput of other cryptos out there. The project offers a platform for construction and development of decentralized applications based on smart contracts. And it implements both a proof of stake and a proof of history protocol, which basically maximizes speed, security, and certainty of transactional history. Solana is widely considered to be a long-term competitor for Ethereum, and it's super exciting for a few reasons. For starters, the network has its own NFT marketplace called Solanart, which is a hub where users can buy and sell popular NFTs. As Solana's influence in the NFT market continues to grow, users can constantly be reminded of the fact that Solana has higher speeds and lower fees than, say, Ethereum, making it a more appealing platform that offers similar functions and use cases. Another reason why Solana is so exciting is because it's being recognized and accepted by many companies as a legitimately powerful crypto of the future. For example, Osprey Funds, an online digital assets investment firm, created its own Osprey Solana Trust so that users and investors can access their own share of SOL tokens. The crypto increased by around 12,000% in the year 2021 which is just absolutely ridiculous. What's even crazier to think is that its growth rate may only be a precursor for the platform's true potential. It's a young project that is giving Ethereum and other smart contracts based cryptos a run for their money and for that reason it's included on this list of top altcoins to buy. Alright next up we have Cardano. Cardano is an open source public blockchain platform launched in 2015 by Ethereum co-founder Charles Hoskinson. The platform relies on its native token ADA as a means of securing and exchanging value without a third party. So right now, 188 coin is trading at $1.66, down about 2.58% in the last 24 hours. If we look at the three month price chart, we can see that it's mostly been moving down and this could present a pretty good buying opportunity. So yeah, just about three months ago, we were sitting at about 
$3 per coin. And ever since then, it's just slowly gone down in price uh, to about $1.66. So the 24 hour trading volume is $3.2 billion, which is actually up 70%. Uh, the, the market dominance is 2.3% and the market rank is number six. The current market cap right now is about $55.36 billion. Symmetry is ranked Cardano as a C grade and the token insight rating is BBB. We got some more analysis for this coin available on coin market cap and you can see that right now 38% of holders are making money at the current price 9% are not making any money at all and 53% are losing money the concentration by large holders is 29% 8% have held for over one year 67% have held between 1 to 12 months and 25% have held for under one month so Cardano is special and important in the timeline of cryptocurrencies because it was one of the first to implement a proof of stake protocol to ensure a faster and environmentally friendlier means of mining tokens. Furthermore, the project has proven itself to be a perfectly scalable platform with its implementation of the Ouroboros system that nominates nodes to be slot leaders. The larger the network, the more slots it will create, the more people managing the system, and the faster the system will be to accommodate a larger number of users. Many people in the Cardano community and the larger crypto community are bullish on Cardano for several reasons. For starters, the crypto launched on Bitstamp, Europe's largest crypto exchange on November 24th. So yeah, Cardano is set on making a larger appearance and presence in the European crypto market. On November 25th, we will see Cardano's input output team release some news and updates regarding the platform as a whole, which can also be big for the value of the project. With these recent updates, I think that Cardano is a great project that everyone should do more research on. Anyways, those are my top five altcoins for the end of 2021. If you guys want to get some free stocks or crypto, I will put links to that in the description below. And with all investing, especially crypto, make sure to do your own due diligence before buying anything. This video should not be considered financial advice, but rather just the current news surrounding five altcoins that I currently like. Happy trading. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to see more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Again, thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.